Mike Berlack here to talk to you. I've been racking my brain, uh, still thinking about this whole, uh, the difference between a liberal and a conservative. And I uh, <clears throat> have a little bit more uh, uh, elaboration on uh, my thoughts on that. I said initially that a liberal is basically a conservative that does not want to be burdened with accountability. Or a liberal is a conservative with no comprehension of accountability. Or a liberal is a conservative with no technical understanding of the reality of how taxation works. In other words, um, the whole nature of you take from one aspect of life, you must give to another aspect of life for the balance of life overall. And after further uh, contemplation of this, I came to a conclusion that, once again, probably can be applied to both liberals and conservatives. If a liberal, if a person identifies as a liberal, and they're identifying as a, as a liberal, in their identifying as a liberal, they are not fully able to comprehend the reality of, for example, the, na the very nature of taxation. Then that makes their being a liberal n coming with a degree of na naivety. However, the opposite can be said too. If a person identifies as a lib themselves, they, they claim themselves to be a liberal, and they do, in fact, have an intellectual comprehension of how the reality of taxation works, then the state of their being a liberal is, could be arguably called evil, or, uh, uh, evil is probably a strong word, um, self-preservation. That would probably explain Nancy and Chuck. <laughs> but this uh, thing I'm saying can basically be applied to both liberals and conservatives. There can be a conservative out there who proclaims themselves to be a conservative, yet they have no real comprehension of how the reality of taxation works. This would make their declaration of being considering themselves a conservative to be to extend to extend from a naive post naivety post. But uh, as you know, as a conservative, uh, they do comprehend intellectually the reality of how taxation works in our in the physical world then that makes them just expressing just wanting to be amongst those who survive so then the question becomes who should survive should the masses survive or should the elite survive i think nancy and chuck when they're alone talking with each other probably have one answer for that Say what you will, but the capitalist society is the only society that has brought the most people up from out of poverty. As a survivor of child abuse, I recognize fully if I was born in any other country besides America, I would have not got I wouldn't have never gotten as far as I've gotten in this world. That's all I got at this moment in time. Mike Parallax, thank you for your time.